and that is going to be where we see that contrast as far as temperatures go. But um, was it me or was there a big blue arrow behind me? OK, I just wanted to make sure. But here's a quick look at uh, the storm track radar, and that is actually where we're looking at the heaviest of rain now across Jefferson County. Now this batch of showers, it's back. Well, we'll just move him over here, but you'll see that, um, well, he's really persistent. This is a hot spot where we're looking at most of the rain right now. And then, of course, we have the rain now moving through Jefferson County and some of the locations that will be affected. Birmingham Airport around 15 minutes, Cedar Point 28 and 39 in Trustville. That blue arrow is like a puppy. It's just following me. We'll get rid of that guy. You'll see our rain forecast for tonight is calling for more of the same. Rain totals dropping down with some of the new model data in. Still close to two inches around Birmingham, Alabaster, back into Anniston, about an inch and a quarter in Blunt County, and a little bit uh, lower across our central counties. He's back. Here's a look at the uh, what we call water vapor imagery and all of the blue you see here besides that giant annoying blue arrow. That is where the moisture continues to flow. So there will be plenty of it across the area throughout the remainder of tonight and into early tomorrow. Temperatures into the mid 40s for Hamilton and then eventually low 60s for Tuscaloosa tomorrow. And the new model data coming in is a little more encouraging. The temperatures will have a chance to rebound a bit tomorrow, but cloud cover will have an impact on that. That chance of rain, it is going to linger right through the remainder of tonight into early tomorrow. And then we'll start to see the clearing process begin. But this is at 2 o'clock. Look at all of that water right up and down 2059. That rain coverage begins to finally shift towards the south and east. We get a little push from the north and west. And there is the clearing line 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So it will be damp around Birmingham, maybe a little bit of drizzle early on for the morning commute. But notice we start to clear out by lunch. It will be a slow clearing process. And eventually we'll be moving out of our south and eastern counties into tomorrow night. But as we get into Thursday and early Friday, we're looking at much cooler air. Notice these temperatures after getting into the 30s will only bounce back up into the upper 40s to low 50s as we get into uh, Friday. So, or at least Thursday afternoon into Friday. Storm track seven day shows that we will have numbers anywhere from 55 to 60 degrees. And again, on Saturday, for those of you headed over towards Atlanta, I've got a look at your SEC football forecast. Tailgating looks great. Game will be dry because of the dome and then chilly <laughs> afterwards. But we will stay a little more in tune with early December for the remainder of the weekend into next week. Jim? Uh, Prater, I should say something smart here in case we ever end up on YouTube with that one. You can follow at Prater's Blue Arrow right now on Twitter. Hey,